welcome to my channel and this is Rio my Indian ringneck parakeet hey sweetie she's gonna have some lunch with me in today's video I'm going to be showing you come on girl how to get your bird to eat fresh foods Rio come on look anyway so one of the best ways to get your bird to eat is to eat in front of them come on she's coming she's curious and um, you know, if you got a bigger bird, like a parrot or one that's tame, that'll you know come to you and land on you and see what you're eating. They see what you're eating and they want it too. So are we else curious? Oh yeah, land right. Yeah, they might land right in your bowl. So you know, you can have a bowl just for them and pretend you're eating it. But look at this. Ah, you're picking out your favorite, huh? You don't like that piece? Oh. No, she didn't like that piece, but she'll be she'll be back. <laughs> she'll be back. So, anyways, I'm going to be going over some foods that you can feed your birds and and um, different ways you can feed your birds to encourage them to eat. So, in today's video, I'm going to be going over all of that with you. And this is chop. Chop is basically a bunch of vegetables chopped up into small, medium, or large pieces, and you usually start off with a grain. This is quinoa, and then add some dark green leafy vegetables and then for color you can add some red cabbage but you can be creative and add many many different so kinds of vegetables and this is a uh, green pepper here some carrots for color and make it a little bit sweet by adding a little tiny bit of apples the best fruits are raspberries strawberries blueberries blackberries has their lower in sugar and the apple has a little bit of sugar in it you can also put it in the chopper chop it up fine chop it up small and you can add a lot of yummy food in here that the bird will be eating and won't know that it's in there so if you chop it up really small a lot of birds like this a lot of small birds will eat it even big birds will like it and look what it looks like is that not delicious and you can also eat this yourself and chop can be frozen put it in freezer bags or even ice cube trays depending on the size of birds you have and freeze it and you can thaw it out the next day Although sometimes the chop can be pretty wet and you don't want to freeze it when it's wet so add some oats and the birds can eat the oats as well. That'll soak up the moisture. And also you can add some sesame seeds. The birds love sesame seeds and they can eat that as well and that'll soak up the moisture because you don't want it too wet because freezing it, you know, when you thaw it out it'll be too wet and too moist. So this will keep it nice and dry. Now for the picky eaters, the secret is to add some millet. Get your spray millet and just uh, you know, sprinkle a little millet. Just take it apart. It crumbles pretty good. And you can sprinkle it on top of the food or you can mix it in. And they'll search for it. And once they try to eat the millet, they'll eat the other stuff that's inside there and hopefully start to eat the fresh food. And for the bigger parrots, you can try some almonds or even walnuts or whatever nuts they like just cut them up really small almonds are very soft so I just use my nails to put them in you can just sprinkle them on top or mix them up and the bird will search for the nut and hopefully eat the fresh food this is the birdie skewer you can put your fruits and vegetables through the rod and hang it near a perch it just undoes really quickly and you do it back up and look, the birds can try and dangle it. These are for the birds that like to forage and have fun while they eat. Experiment with different ways to present the food to your bird, like shredding, shredding carrots. Sometimes birds like shred or they look to bigger chunks or even holding a baby carrot for the bigger birds or chopping it up really fine, especially for the small birds, big chunks of cucumber and the way you present it as well. Some birds like to eat out of a bowl that's hung at the side of the cage near a perch or anywhere in the cage or in a flat plate such as these stainless steel bowls or any other kind of bowl that you have laying around. Some birds love to have the bowl at the bottom of their cage so they can forage and jump in the bowl like my canary here. Hang a piece of leafy lettuce and watch your birds go crazy. Just hang it by the perch and they will eat it. This is the first way you can start them to eat is by hanging some greens. 
And these are the clips that I use to hold on the fruits and vegetables to my bird's cage. Very simple to use. Just put them on the bars and twist it and it stays right there. Then you attach the fruits and vegetables to the side of the cage near a perch and watch your bird go and eat it. This is my Senegal Electra. She's a little bit of fussy eater for fresh foods. So I do have to chop up little small amounts of almonds on top of her food. And she does eat that first. And then she starts to forage through the bowl looking for more almonds. And once she knows there's none left, she will start to eat the fresh food. So it does help if you do put some of their favorite food on top of the fresh food to entice them to start eating the fresh food. Yeah, she just dumped a piece out. But she does look through it and she starts to eat the fresh food. Now this is real, my Indian ringneck parakeet. She does not have a problem eating fresh foods at all. She goes right for it, but I do need a special bowl for her. One that locks into place, has with the bigger birds, the bigger parrots, they tend to wanna pick up their bowl and throw it around, especially if they don't like to eat their fresh foods, they'll just toss it all over the floor. So it's best to have a bowl where it's locked down and they can't throw it away. So Rio is a really good eater of fresh foods. Try offering your bird a bowl of food on top of the cage while your bird is out. And if you have many birds, it's even better because when one bird sees a bird eating, the other one will follow and eat too. My birds love to eat in the flock. And find out how your bird eats naturally in the wild from where it came from. My birds here are bork parakeets. They're grass parakeets or Australian parakeets, which they eat on the ground a lot. So these are ground eaters. So they always like to be eaten out of a flat bowl or on the bottom of their cage instead of a bowl hung on the side of the cage. And budgies as well, they're always foraging through the grasses. So try to put a bowl on the bottom of their cage or on top of their cage. And if there's a flock, even better. Flocks of birds eat really well together because they copy each other. And they really have a good time being out of their cage, flying around, eating at the same time. Some toxic foods to avoid are avocado, caffeine, chocolate, salty foods, fats, fruit pits, and apple seeds. Apple seeds contain cyanide, so don't feed the apple seeds. Don't feed onions or garlic, mushrooms, artificial sweeteners, peanuts, and the leaves of tomato plants, potatoes, peppers, and eggplants, and rhubarb leaves. And no grit. This is all bad for birds. There are a lot of safe foods for your bird. You can always ask your avian veterinarian if the foods you are feeding your bird are safe for your bird. You want to feed some dark leaf, leafy greens. Iceberg lettuce is just like water, so you don't need to feed that. It offers no nutritional value. Broccoli is good, Brussels sprouts, cauliflower, chard, collard greens, dandelion greens, kale, mustard green, okra, romaine, turnip greens, watercress, then the list goes on. There's so many, I can't list them all here. But there's, uh, you know, red cabbage, reddish, sweet peppers, zucchini, beets, apple, banana, all kinds of food. Just when you feed the fruits, stick to about 10% fruits, most of it vegetables. Some say birds don't even need fruits. So again, ask your avian veterinarian what's best for your bird and it depends on what species of bird you have. Some birds do need more fruit than others, such as lorikeets. They need a lot of fruit and less vegetables, but other birds may need a different diet than another bird. So always ask and do your research on feeding your bird. And besides, vegetables and fruits, birds need a good pelleted diet. Again, ask your avian veterinarian what's best for your bird. Some birds do need seeds, especially the smaller parakeets. They need a seed diet as well, but mainly pellet diet. See, and an only seed diet is not healthy for your bird. It can cause liver damage or just obesity or just an unhealthy bird. So vegetables are the most important thing in your bird's life. And if you got a baby bird, it's the perfect time to teach them how to eat properly. Trying to get an older bird to eat may be difficult, but if you use all these ideas that I've said in this video, hopefully you'll be able to get your bird to eat a healthy diet.
Hope you enjoyed my video and hope you learned some tips on how to feed your bird some healthy food. So thank you very much for watching and we'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.